In this video, we will consider some applications of the Lorentz transformation. In particular, we will show how we recover time deletion, uh, space contraction, and relativity of simultaneity using a systematically Lorentz transformation. So we will use standard representation where the S frame um, is at rest and the S dash frame is moving in the X direction at the velocity V with respect to uh, the S frame. We consider an observer in the S frame and we will consider different systems in the S dash frame depending on the um, question we are asking if we are looking at time deletion, space contraction, etc. And we know that uh, to go from one frame to the other, we will either use uh, direct uh, Lorentz transformation, uh, defining the um, dash coordinate as function of the non-dashed coordinates, or we will use um, um, inverse Lorentz transformation, defining the non-dashed coordinate as function of the dashed coordinates. In every situation, we will consider two events and we always can choose the first event to be at the origin uh, for both uh, system of coordinates. Um, so we define the event 1 to be um, t1 equals 0 and x1 equals 0 in the S frame and t1 dash equals 0, x1 dash equals 0 in the S dash frame. We are not going to consider uh, the y and z coordinates here because they are irrelevant. We now consider our first application of the Lorentz transformation to the case of time deletion. And so for that we put the clock at the origin in the S dash coordinate. So it's moving at a velocity v with respect to the observer. We now need to define our second event. So the clock is not moving in S dash, therefore it's still at um, uh, x dash uh, 2 equals 0 in the second event and the time has moved by the proper time um, t dash 2 equal to the proper time tp. And what we want is the time in the s coordinate uh, because that's what we will define time deletion. So the time t2 of the event 2 in the um, s coordinate is uh, defined from the inverse um, Lorentz transform and simply gives t2 equal gamma uh, t dash 2 plus v x dash 2 uh, on c squared uh, but using the fact that x dash 2 is equal to 0 so this simply gives gamma t dash 2 uh, which is our time deletion result because gamma is greater than 1. We now look at our second application to the case of uh, length contraction. But now instead of a clock, we have an object at rest in the S dash frame, so it's moving at velocity v with respect to S, uh, to the observer. And this object has some length, some proper length in the S dash frame, which we will call LP, and which we will um, uh, put along the x axis. So the observer is asking the question, what is the length of this object, the, the length L, uh, measured from the point of view of the observer in the S frame? So when you measure the length of something, you don't need to do that at different times. So the observer is measuring the um, uh, position of the two edges of the object in the frame of the observer, in the S frame, uh, at the same time, so that's at t1 equals 0 and t2 equals 0. And because we defined um, uh, one edge at the origin of the S frame, x1 equals 0, um, we will have the other edge, x2, at the distance l uh, from on the, on the x axis. And that's this distance l we want to relate to the proper length lp in the s dash frame. So if we write the uh, event 2 in the s dash frame, we have a time t dash 2, which we don't care about because what we want is the length, uh, and the um, 
position x dash 2 is just the uh, edge of the object on the x dash axis in the s dash frame um, at the position lp and using um, Lorentz transform, direct Lorentz transform, we have x dash 2 equal to gamma um, uh, x2 um, because t2 is equal to 0 and that means that we have lp equal to gamma l or if we divide by gamma we have l equal to lp divided by gamma so that's our length contraction result. So the last application of uh, Lorentz transformation we want to consider is to the relativity of simultaneity. So in this case we will consider two events which uh, happen at the same time in S dash but uh, at a distance d between both of them along the X dash axis. So this defined our event 2 in the S dash frame um, which happens at t dash 2 equals 0 because it happens simultaneously to the first event in the s dash frame but at the distance d so in x dash 2 equal d and now the observer is asking the question um, at what time t2 uh, does the event 2 uh, happen uh, as seen from the observers, that is from the S frame. So we get the time T2 by applying the inverse Lorentz transform um, with uh, T dash 2 equal 0 and X dash 2 equal D, so that gives the um, relativity of simultaneity result T2 equal gamma VD divided by C squared.